Laura Ingle, uh, we want to head over to, to you now. Can you describe what you are seeing? This, this is a high activity area at this time. Uh, this is, and we followed a high police presence. Uh, we were over on the other side of the river where you've been seeing Dre's live shot all day, where that boat ramp was. And as we were standing there, when there was that kind of false alarm, where there was that call uh, for a search of that greenhouse, uh, shortly thereafter, we were pulled over on the side of the road and we saw SWAT teams screaming down the street. So we followed them to this dirt road across the river. And now we are seeing officers coming out of an area where we have been watching them congregate um, for the last better part of the hour. Um, and if you look at that map where the car was and where the river is, we are right across the river. We're in Durham. So there's long been talk about what if he had a boat? What if he had a jet ski? If he was able to get across the river from that location where his car was left, he would be over here on this side. So this makes sense. So we are off of a main road on a dirt road where you're right. It is residential. There are homes here. There are neighbors that are looking out of their homes at us. The media is congregated um, just down the road. We have been given the uh, notice from the police. They've been telling us to push back and stay right where we are. We were one of the first people here. I can tell you that when we pulled up, the U.S. Marshals were in a circle, and there was somebody on their knees with their hands up. It appeared to be, obviously not Robert Card, uh, maybe a resident. Somebody said it looked like it was a teenager out walking a dog. They were questioning him. Him. We now do not see that young man. They, the, he might have been told to go back into his home, but he has not come back down this road. So we are looking at SWAT team members. We are watching a very high presence of U.S. Marshals that gathered at the end of the road that you're looking at and to the left where you can see a few men standing. That is where they all went. So that huge group of law enforcement. And we have sheriffs walking by us right now, as you can see and they are walking to the end of the road. So there is a major activity. They are looking in these woods and we are waiting for word to see what exactly they found. I, I appreciate that update, Laura, and it's certainly tense moments with that um, young man who you describe with, with his hands up, that situation. So we're, we're taking a look at your live picture right now. How many people would you say actually entered the woods in that area? I, I know in the distance we can see those, those few people congregating. At this time, how many people are fanning out and actually searching this specific area? Oh, I, I would say there was at least 30, if not more. Uh, it was it was a huge presence when we pulled up and everybody started getting out of the car. These, of course, are uh, a lot a long line of unmarked vehicles. Um, with their sirens out and they pulled over, as you can see here, you can probably see in the shot, a long line of cars, kind of like what we saw yesterday. Um, but they all pulled out and they gathered in a circle. They talked to whoever it was uh, that they had uh, questioning him. And then they kind of grouped together. They looked like they were getting together some kind of a game plan and they went into the woods. And where I'm standing, where our camera shot is right now, uh, there is a home uh, right to the left of where we're standing. It's a, it's a home with a very large yard. They've asked us to stay off of their property, understandably so. Um, but if there is a home like that up where those guys are, um, it's just hard to tell where exactly they are. But what is interesting too, remember that, that scene over there at the greenhouse, somebody reported hearing something like a gunshot. Uh, they went over and investigated and cleared that area, but that happened, that loud sound happened a short while ago. Is it related to what happened on this side of the river? We just don't know. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.